¡Malditos vírgenes! Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, this is gonna be good. El gran imperio maya desapareció junto a una maldición. Thrilled on my home. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and watch this intro completely uncut because it's amazing, guys. Come on, sing along. A los siete dioses nadie veneró. Esto es la perdición. Pero el decano de una universidad. Una cosa loca quiere ejecutar Siete frikis se van a sacrificar Creyendo que van a mojar ¡Sacrificarlos a todos! ¡Muerte al virgen! <risa> Oye, ¿y a quién van a matar? ¿No has oído la canción? Siete vírgenes para siete dioses, pero apenas quedan vírgenes hoy en día. ¿Y cómo se llaman esos pringaos? Xavi, Bernardo, Tony el Ciclado, Chispita, Bruno, Alfredo y Hugo. Estos frikis se creen que van a mojar. <risa> ¡A mojar! <risa> este juego a ti te ha costado un pastón, no aceptas devolución. That was one of the most amazing intros I have ever seen in a video game. It's like we're about to play a terrible Spanish sitcom. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, everyone between, welcome to Overanalyze Adventures, and welcome to the overanalysis of Damn Virgins, an FMV point-and-click adventure game that came out in the year of our Lord, 2015. Oh, let's just kick it off, shall we, guys? Mucho tiempo ha pasado desde que los mayas desaparecieron, y muchas son las hipótesis sobre este hecho. Yeah, but we're gonna get one of the crazier ones. Fantasías. Esto es lo que en realidad sucedió. El gran imperio maya se regía por ciclos de 5200 años. Yeah, sure, if you overlook all the wars and stuff. Un lujo solo permitido por la benevolencia de siete dioses que debían ser venerados al terminar cada ciclo. Siete vírgenes para siete dioses. Why do gods always want virgins? Why the hell would anyone want a virgin? Pero algo salió mal en el último cambio de ciclo. 2988 AC, I am not familiar at all with an AC dating system. All right, I have no idea what year this is. Not even Google seems to know. Oh yeah, show off those production values. That's a pretty fancy green screen you got there, game. Los dioses estaban expectantes. 5,000 años de protección son muchos años. 5,000 years is muchos años. And all that for seven virgins. Kind of feel like humanity's getting the better end of this deal. Oh, hey, it's the guy from the intro. And he looks like, well, um... Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Otherwise, that was just rude, sir. Sus ansias de sangre debían ser correspondidas. So the gods want virgin blood. Hey, I guess everyone's got their fetishes. But as you can imagine, things don't go as planned. Because these virgins don't want to die. Although you think the Mayans would have brainwashed these people. Maybe the gods need the blood of strong, independent virgins. Because, well, that gets them going. Insensato! ¿Crees que vale la pena salvar siete vidas comparado con toda una civilización? ¡No! Y así, sin más, los mayas y la valiosa lección aprendida desaparecieron. That valuable lesson being... Murder virgins. Maybe that's what Jason was killing all those people in all those movies. Maybe he was just trying to restore peace and harmony for 5,000 years. Qué sueño más extraño. Parecía que estaba dentro de un videojuego. Un momento. Oh, look, we just got in the game and it's already going all meta on us. So, welcome to the game's mandatory tutorial sequence 
Taught to you by a fish with a human brain. Yeah, a fish with a human brain is showing us how to play a 3D point and click adventure game. Now this game has a 360 degree 3D camera thing going on. And to be honest with you, the camera is terrible. But it's workable for the most part. But still, it's pretty terrible. But anyway, you point, you click, you do stuff. It's like any adventure game. Oh yeah, before I forget, this game does have hotspot detection. So if anything's glowing like it's all radioactive, that means we can click on it. And if it's not, then we can't. Pretty straightforward stuff. Chicos, hay alguien ahí? I think I found my new background for this video. I know these cutscenes are just so magnificent. Por fin, el último examen de la carrera. Va. Si no fuera porque Ale nos va a llevar a México, la hubiera dejado hace años. So these guys were promised a trip to Mexico upon graduation. And that's their motivation to stay in school. I never realized Mexico was such an enchanting place. Bruno, ¿qué piensas hacer cuando lleguemos a México? En cuanto lleguemos, vamos a mojar. Vamos a mojar, seguro. You can't get laid and you have hair like that. I find that hard to believe. Vamos a mojar. Oh my God, these special effects are so beautiful. I can just watch this on a loop. And yeah, this guy just keeps staring at us. Kind of uncomfortable, isn't it? Anyway, back in the game world, our quest is to leave this place. Oh wait, we can't, because we need to take a shower first. So let's just go ahead and take a shower now. Huh, so I've learned two things about this game. Apparently the house we're in is based off of a house that actually exists. And also, we could probably see a man's junk if we tried hard enough. Because I'm pretty sure he's not wearing swim trunks in the shower. Igor, cierra el grifo del agua caliente! Well, that was just kind of weird, and a missed opportunity to do a comedic take on the scene from Psycho that everyone knows. So voyeurism aside, we still can't leave the house because a man needs to eat. But guess what? We can't eat until we unlock the fridge because of course the fridge is locked. This is an adventure game. Even the simplest of tasks are incredibly difficult to do. But fortunately for us, the key is in the toilet and then we can unlock the fridge and unlock another cutscene. Because that's all that we're here for, folks. The actual gameplay is kind of meh. This sounds like elevator music. Leonardo, Leonardo, ¿me oyes? Cambio. Alto y claro. Como nos piden, me chivaré todos vosotros. Cambio. Va, no se rajado. Si nos haces aprobar. Te invitaré a todos los mojitos que quieras cuando lleguemos a México. Cambio. So if this is a nerd of the group who's going to help these guys pass their test so they can be driven to Mexico, likely to be sacrificed because, well, they're all virgins, okay? That's a game's plot. So, in a way, we kind of don't want them to pass the test. Well, unless you don't care about these characters. And why should you? We just met them. Qué bien. Los alumnos más inteligentes del campus aquí en mi examen de recuperación. Qué sorpresa, ¿verdad? Pues esta es vuestra última oportunidad, así que más vale que la aprovechéis. Solo habéis suspendido vosotros cinco mi asignatura. ¿Y Xavi, dónde está? Esto se ha retrasado porque... porque su abuela está en coma y su perro tiene diarrea. Pero, pero bueno, se, se pondrá bien, ¿no? Sí, ya ha tenido diarrea otras veces. Oh god, a joke about diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, this game's very tasteful with its humor. Sí, da igual, si va a sacar la misma nota. Tiene 20 minutos para llegar. Vale, vale, a echar y correr o se perderá el viaje de su vida. ¡Silencio! El examen ha empezado. 
Yeah, that joke won't get old. So we showered, we ate, we can now leave the house right and take the exam? No, of course it's not that easy. Of course it's not that easy. Again, this is an adventure game. Nothing is allowed to be simple. So we have to go to the fish with a brain to figure out how to get out of this house. Because a fish with a brain would have the answer to all of life's problems, you know. Igor, la puerta está cerrada. Necesito una salida alternativa. Muy bien, genio. Oh, I see why this guy needs a fish with a brain. Because he wasn't clever enough to figure out that maybe he should try the garage door. Because you know, his front door is locked by reasons of a mysterious gameplay fairy that doesn't want to make it incredibly easy to leave the house. Oh, well... We can't get into the garage now because it has like a bank vault door on it. Huh. So we go back to the fish and he gives us a hint. The hint is look in the pool. We look in the pool and oh my god, there's pie. And no, I'm not talking about the delicious dessert that's made out of sweet stuff. Instead, I'm talking about the math stuff. 3.14. Yeah. Now the door is opening. Actually, this is a great puzzle. At least for my money. Because... In order to solve this puzzle, you have to actually have some real world knowledge. And that's always fun. Because you know what? I always appreciate a game that makes me think. Yeah, this guy's doing his best impression of Mac from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. In case you're wondering why this guy is always vacantly staring off into space, it's because he apparently saw something so horrific that it scarred him for life and he's just like this now. Yeah, I learned that through exploring some of the game's lore by clicking on everything. Oh wait, not only is that guy picking his nose, but he's reading Goosebumps. Jeez, what year is it? Yeah, it looks like he got some of that green slime from Nickelodeon up his nose. I like to think that this guy is a classically trained Shakespearean actor who's resorted to doing snot jokes in FMV games for the money. Yeah, it's the sadness that makes it all the funnier to me. Not jokes. Yeah. Well, let's now try to leave this area because we made it to the garage. All we should have to do is press this button and oh, don't tell me the garage door's broken now. <sighs> oh great, now a part exploded off of it. My god, how are we going to fix this? Surely not through some convoluted adventure game puzzle solving. Well, first of all, we're going to want to rub some glue all over this broken part. And then we're going to want to feed the brain fish some chicken we found in the refrigerator. Don't worry, it all makes sense at some point. But oh yeah, after we feed it, we have to leave the room because, well... Whoa! Caca! Yeah, he makes caca. And then we have to look at the bone and realize that it's weak and then we can break it apart because, well... Yeah, you have to break it apart. So we use that little bit of bone we find from the chicken's rib cage, put it on the thing that's broken, rub grease all over it, and then reinstall it. And bada bing, bada boom, we can now leave this area and take the exam, right? <laughs> You're so naive. Vaya, se han llevado mi bici. Pero si no tenía seguir. Well, if you didn't read that joke, it's too good not to repeat. So someone stole his bike, but he doesn't know how they did it because it didn't have a seat on it. So that means that someone stole his bike and rode around with a pole shoved up their ass. <laughs> oh yeah, the cutscene. Alright, the dude in the middle is rocking tucked in sweatpants with sandals. Hey gods, I think I found you another virgin. ¿Qué pasa, Bernie? 
ocupado con uno de tus experimentos de pacotilla? Dejadme en paz, estoy trabajando. Y me llamo Bernardo. Vamos, Bernie. ¿Todavía estás enfadado por la competición de robots? No es culpa mía que tu robosito perdiera el control y atacara al jurado. Roberto is a killer robot teddy bear thing that our heroes invented. Yeah, I try to roll my R's there, but nevertheless, how can these guys still be virgins? Cuando quieras te aparece cualquier competición. Precisamente este sábado se celebra una carrera de coches en la universidad. ¿Te apuntas? El bote son 10.000 monkey coins. Pero, pero eso no es un poco ilegal. The monkey coins are the drag racing, because I've only heard of one of those things, and I definitely know that monkey coins are illegal. What's this racing I hear about? Is that like a Spanish thing? Oh, el bebé se ha hecho popó. ¿El bebé quiere una galleta? <laughs> <laughs> sí. Ha. A partir de ahora te llamaremos Bebernardo. Ah. Silencio, los motes los pongo yo. Venga, Bernardo, anímate. Pues muy bien. Nos vemos el sábado. Prepárate. It's the eye of the FMV game. It's the cream of the fight. It's the end of this video till the next one. Yeah, that does it, folks. As always, thank you very much for watching over Analyze Adventures. Things are evolving in this storyline. Not only do we have to make it to school and pass an exam so we can go to Mexico and be sacrificed so the Mayan 5,000 years of happiness comes to be, but... Our rival has challenged us to a car race. So obviously we're going to do something about that. And you know, the whole Mayan 5,000 years of peace thing. Although you gotta wonder, since the Mayans failed some 5,000 years ago, does that mean that everything that's happened after that has been like some hellish apocalyptic world? And that the very world we live in now is actually an evil hellscape and we don't realize it, but killing these seven virgins will make like a utopia? So yeah, that's my understanding. So if I'm right, that means we should be actively rooting for our heroes to die. Fantastic. Well, on that wonderful note, so ends the first episode of the over-analysis of Damn Virgins. And if you like this video, why not like, why not comment, hell, why not even subscribe? And that does it for me, folks. Hopefully you got some more videos in your watch later list.